Okay, we're getting ready for an FPV test flight. Going to take the Alien X quadcopter out to the flying field and give it a little FPV test. Made a few changes to it uh, since the last time I tested it. One of them was I now have the Mobius mounted on the front here on this little, little uh, shock absorber pad that came with the quad and I put the video battery underneath here. So Mobius on top and video battery under there. Mobius is not actually wired into the video. It's just going to capture video. This uh, board camera here is actually going to be the video for the FPV. Uh, another change I made was I made this little bandpass filter for 1280 megahertz a little smaller. It used to be this big and it kind of stuck up and looked sort of ugly so I made a new one more compact and out of the way and of course I now have a, two batteries in parallel on the bottom and I think we may give another battery a try that's a 6000 these are two 3000 milliamp hour four cells and I'm gonna try 6000 antenna is still on the bottom Still using the same Orange RX 8-channel uh, receiver on the back. And the LED module used to be up here underneath the receiver. And I think it was causing interference with the C receiver and making the uh, modes change for my screen. So I gave myself some separation here and put the LED module on the bottom of the quadcopter right here. So it's a little further away from the receiver. I know some people put it out here in the arm. The other changes I made were mainly just uh, programming the Minim OSD, uh, which is in here, and I just uh, had a problem with my home arrow being underneath my artificial horizon. It was hard to see, it was sort of blinking, so I moved that around with the Minim OSD configuration tool. Hey, Mobius is recording. Oh, that's got to be on the top. What? Did it fall down? No, no, she's talking about the quadcopter. Oh, well, that. Oh. All right, let me. You don't have these. that plugged in anyway. I gotta plug in the goggles here. I haven't really used the goggles much with the quadcopter, so I'm just checking them out. Okay, I got a picture. You're hitting the ceiling there. All right. <laughs> got a picture and got only four satellites right now. You know, you're six right now. Okay, I just sat down and we got six. I've got six. Okay, so is the DVR recording? Yeah, it is. I just started a, uh, according to that a minute ago. <laughs> okay, so we're on 12.8 megahertz. And I've got that uh, laser brushless gimbal. Wait, 12.8 megahertz? 1280 megahertz, sorry. Yeah, 1280 megahertz. <laughs> Yeah, 1280 megahertz. That'd be 1.28 gigahertz, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, 1280 megahertz, and I've got the laser brushless gimbal receiver in my Fat Sharks, so it's receiving directly from the quadcopter. The ground station is also receiving a signal through the patch antenna on 1280, and we're recording it on the DVR. So that's the basic idea. Hope I didn't lose many satellites that way. I switched it around. Five. Still got five. Hey, good enough. Pretty good. Got six now. Yeah. Alright, let's just get it up in the air, see if we can get it up in the air. I can hear it humming a little bit like it's struggling there. Yeah, on the Is it in GPS mode or what? That's part of why it's going wham 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 
looking down where the river is. I'm pushing a little forward, should be moving a little bit forward towards the river. Got eight satellites, cool. Am I moving to the left? To the left slightly, yeah. You're kind of diagonal to the camera, though. Okay, now I'm going to turn and come back and see if I can see it. Actually, I don't see it at this point. Probably because you're so high up there, you know. Uh, my home direction says I should be right about there. Is that right? You're right above it. Right above us now? Pretty close. Pretty close. You're close but high. Since I'm uh, 108 feet from home, 170 feet, 170 feet high. That's right. Okay, bring it down some, just a little bit, not a whole lot. You're not even aimed towards the river, you're actually aimed sideways to it right now. Still kind of high for my liking, hurting my neck. That's good right there. Yeah. You might want to ascend a little bit, you're getting low. I was unlocked you. Yeah, I was a negative. There you are. How much more? I'm coming towards Looks like you are. According to this, I'm out of the game. Yeah, I can't even find you now. I've unlocked you. Fun. I see you now, you're kind of blurry, but there you are. Land right where? Oh, oh, there you are. I don't know. Nothing but under you but grass. Bring it lower and too high. You need to lose that altitude a little bit. Bring it down until you get like 10 feet plus. That's good. Now bring it towards us a little bit. And to my left. Which might be to your right depending on how you're facing. And you're not really at two feet. You're more like you're more like 15 actually. Okay, you're coming closer. All right, so keep. Okay, now come straight towards the pad. Come a little closer. Just your right lined up with it. Don't try to go left and right. Keep it steady on the left and right. Where are you? Oh, zoomed into. Two. Too far out, you need to come closer. Okay, so I was flying with these two batteries here, which are uh, two 3,000 milliamp hour, which gave me 6,000 milliamp hour uh, four cells. And what I'm going to try now is use one big 6,000 milliamp hour battery to replace these two, also four cells. And uh, we didn't have any Velcro to put on it, so I'm just putting some rubber bands to help keep it from moving. And I'm going to strap it underneath the quadcopter.
just go right there. Find out on this camera if you uh, right, receive this board. Dude, this is a lot of maneuvering. John. Alright. Got stuff sharp places. poking it everywhere. Oh, can you bring it over here a little more? Let's yeah. do this. There you go. Alright. How's that battery looking? Is that about centered? Gotta come up with something better. Here we go. All right, there it is. All right, here we go. I think it's doing all right. You kind of over top us a little bit here. You hear that? That's a 9x zoom right there. You need to bring it towards us. Who's that standing out in the field? Is that Maceo? Yes. I'm 200 feet from home. Now I'm over the side behind you. Hey, you're about it. Right in front of us now. Yeah, like the side of us. Now, my back of us? No, you're going sideways towards that brick house. Uh, where's the river? Am I coming towards you now? Out, coming out in front of us pretty soon. I can't even find him. Huh? Now you going towards the motel. Yeah, I know. Now I'm coming back towards him. Back out in front. Wind's coming from behind you. 
That figure on the right hand side that used to say 250 is now at 820. Yeah. It should be over the top of our of the runway now. Yeah, you are. Coming out right in front. Bring it down in altitude now. You can come in closer actually, but just stay at that altitude. There's your mat right there. Come in a little closer here. Start bringing it down. Take the goggles off. Missed the mat by like three feet. Close enough yeah. for me. With goggles on. Hey, that's about the same spot I landed before. Anyway, hi there. Thanks for your help. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that's, that's, that's